This is a really simple way to animate tentacles in Blender with curves instead of an armature. It's really helpful if you don't have something like a squid or an octopus body, you just have the tentacle. It's much easier than working with a rig. And here's a simple tentacle animation I did using this method. First, add a cube and make it very tall. Select the top face and shrink it so you have a tall cone. Hit Ctrl R and add a ton of loop cuts. Add a curve. Select your tall cone and give it a curve modifier. Assign your curve as the curve object. Switch the deform axis to Z. Edit your curve. Lock the X and Y axes of your tentacle mesh and keyframe the Z location so that it slides along the curve. Add shape keys to your curve. And what I find works really well for this is to start out with a curvier shape. So as the tentacle is entering your frame, it's exploring a lot of twists and turns. As it's being retracted out of frame, smooth out a lot of those sharp turns so that it's a straighter line and it'll feel more like the tentacle is being pulled away instead of just retracting along a really obvious predetermined path. I used to use rigging for all of my tentacle animations, but I find that if I'm just working with a tentacle, no octopus or squid body involved, it is much easier to use a curve. These are some studies of different types of tentacle movements. These are all done with curves because I really want the tentacle following a specific path and I can just make small adjustments using shape keys to keep things looking realistic. However, for movements like this, where I want the tentacle sort of flying through the air and especially making those cute little curls right at the end, I do still use a rig. I'm adding a subsurf modifier to my tall cone, but at this point you can just replace it with a more detailed tentacle mesh. I have a few varieties linked in the description. The untextured version is free on Gumroad.